community, a community of a lot of different people who want to welcome other people who are poor, who need help, and we open our door and, uh, and we welcome them with a warm meal and uh, we welcome them as they are. The idea is that we are called to live beside the poor, with the poor, as Christ has called us to. There's lots of people who don't believe at all or believe, but it's not a very active part of their life. But they're here because they think it's good. This program is not a social service. Eh? You don't have to tell who you are, what your how much money you have in your pocket or uh, what you have done before. Poverello specifically is different for everyone because the, the point is for you to come as you are and be what you are and offer what you can within your limitations, within the capacities that you have. Recently I was thinking, how do I want to live? And this community question rise up and I wanted to try actually live in a community and feel how, it's, how it is. I contacted um, Sister Bep, who's in charge of the young persons community that I'm living in here in Poverello. I said I would come for two weeks for sure and then we'll see. And then after two weeks I was like, mm, two and a half more months. And then I was like, mm, six more months. It just kind of kept going and it's been 11 months now, which have been great. I was looking for something to investigate myself, uh, my life, and so I discovered Poverello. When I came, there wasn't any other young people living here, but slowly, somehow, we're, what are we, seven? We, it's a group of seven people now. I am working in a bar where we serve just the drinks uh, and then I'm working in a kitchen. It's just helping. It's not real cooking, but uh, it's just helping, washing the dishes, uh, serving the food also, uh, prepare the food a little bit, like heat it. Nobody is uh, obliged to work in Poverello and still every day there are people to work. Eh? Even every day we are serving 800 meals in Belgium. I kind of look after some practical stuff, making sure we have train tickets or metro cards or that someone's there when they're supposed to be. I also do like the welcome, which is when the people come in to go to the social restaurants, I sell tickets. We have a meal for a euro and soup for 20 cents or coffee for 20 cents. For me, what the, the young community is doing to, uh, also is um, the prayer they have here in the, the chapel. This is communal prayer. This is us deciding together to say and hear certain things. The prayer is like a strongest connection between us. We are all different, but when we pray, it's just, uh, it's unify us very much. We live in a society that scatters our brains into many different places. It's like, you should answer this text message and you should be here and you should be thinking about that and you should be doing this. And prayer is a place where it's like, and to look into the face of God and, and to offer your feelings and also to take a moment to remember why, you know, like why you do this, why you do that of just like forgetting what the point of all of it was. You just went through the motions the whole day, just for what? You know, for what? praying, it calms me down, it gives me peace and it gives me space just to take all the heavy stuff and just put, like, give it to God, like this is what I'm living, help me with this or what I'm supposed to do with it. Especially when we're singing, it's such a joy, it's very, it just opens me and uh, I feel relaxed 
I feel happy. We choose to remember together that not everything is crap. That even when it feels like crap, even when we're blowing each other up and there's still hungry people on the street and that we're doing our best and we have limits, that we can do everything that we can and it's not enough to rest in God and be like, well, crap. All right, time to try again. We don't stay same period of time. You need to prepare yourself that they will leave. We are going to the pub. What? Because of beer? No, because it's Laura's last night and we want to spend the evening together. For me, it's really a space where to try to connect with people. Just train how to be open and how to not judge. Even though they are, they are ugly, they smell, they are not nice to me, just still do it. We are not only what we are doing, who we are, how we are dressed, but we are what we are in us, and that's in, in our heart. I'm around the corner, I'm walking down the street, it's dusk, so it's becoming a bit dark. And so I tend to uh, avoid speaking to strange people on the street, specifically men. A man who looks homeless, I've never seen before. And I start to walk past him and he's reaching out his hand and I just say automatically, I don't have any money. And he keeps talking to me, it's in French, so my French is not so good. And he says to me again, reaching out his hand, he says, no, no, no. And I say, I don't have any money. And he goes, no, please, how much do I have in my hand? I can't see it. And I was like, Gah! who am I? Like, who and what am I after nine months of living in this house that I can look at a man and he's just asking me a question and I won't even listen to him. We live in a society that tries to teach us to, to look successful, to look strong, to have yourself together. And the fact is that we're all poor somehow. Either we have a lack of patience, or we are not emotionally strong, or we're not financially strong, or you know we've had something really horrible happen to us in our life. That we, we all carry something. Um, and, and here we try, we try to live together with our poverty. I think to, the most important thing for me is to see that even if you don't have enough, that you have very little, it's still possible to uh, help and to change things in other people's lives. We have forgotten about each other a lot. We're really interested in what helps us a lot. I mean, even, even for doing the dishes, you can say it's always, always the same. No, you can be present at another way. There's only one moment we have that's now, eh? not tomorrow or yesterday. Only now we can live. And, and, that's, uh, and we can do something and we can make the choice. Or we are doing it for ourselves, or we are doing it for, for others, for the world. And th this uh, connection with helping, that's good for me. We should help each other, otherwise we will destroy each other. When you meet someone who is really poor, that they can help you to discover the sense of your life. Eh? I hope and I believe very much in that experience. And I think also Povrello needs that experience uh, for this future. Mm -hmm.